Romeo Okuara restructures. Find out my thoughts. Cue that intro. It's showtime. Romeo Okuara contract goes from a cap hit of $14.5 million down to $5.65 million in 2023. This move, less than 12 hours removed from a huge signing of C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Now, this restructure frees up another $8.85 million, which in reality should be enough to sign our draft picks in this upcoming draft in about four weeks away. Now, maybe we might need a couple million dollars more, but not much more needed for our draft picks. As a Detroit Lion, Romeo has 20 sacks in five years with 125 tackles and played in 54 games in that five-year span. And the last two seasons, Romeo has missed 25 games due to various injuries. Now, this regime is desperate to see what he has before they maybe cut ties or something else or maybe gives another contract to once this contract is up. Whatever the case may be, they want to see what they have in Romeo Okwara. Now, in this regime with Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, Romeo has only played in nine games with three sacks and 14 tackles. So it's not a huge sample size that these guys have. So lowering the cap hit this coming up year, seeing what he has, it's a very, it's a very smart move by Brad Holmes because now you can low risk. You got more money now to sign your guys in the draft and possibly, you know, a couple stragglers in, in free agency as well. But you have enough money now to re-sign your draft picks and you get a, you get a chance to see Romeo. If he can regain what he did in 2020, where he had the 10 sack season and 44 tackles. I like this move from a standpoint of, okay, low risk on the cap hit. If if he's not going to be the same guy, you could possibly move him at the trade deadline. But I think the Detroit Lions do really want to see what Romeo has before any decision is made on Romeo's future. I absolutely like it from that aspect. One thing about injuries is, has it been too much on his body? I hopefully am am trying to be a little bit optimistic here. Hopefully it's just a thing in the past. A couple freak injuries, you know, a couple various injuries, things like that. Hopefully it's all behind him now. Hopefully he's healed up, repaired. We got him the last five games of the 2022 season. Looked pretty well, but that was, like I said, a small sample size. Now he could be on a a bigger scale size. Hopefully he could play all 17 games and hopefully he could be a part of what we're trying to build here in 2023 with this Detroit Lions. It's a phenomenal defense. And if we can get a healthy Romeo Guara, your team just got better. And he has so much position flexibility. He could be a defensive tackle. He could be an edge rusher. He could be a defensive end. He could be a 3-4 outside linebacker rusher. Like, you could put him in so many different variables on this defense that I think you need to give him the benefit of the doubt and see what he has. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to help this channel get into the YouTube algorithm, consider clicking that thumbs up because it tells YouTube you like the content that you are watching. It might not be much, but it helps tremendously. If you want to be a part of this growing community, Consider clicking the subscribe button, post notification to all so you're notified as soon as I drop another Detroit Lions video. Thank you so much in advance. And with that being said, love you all. I'll see you in the next video because grit don't quit. Hashtag one pride, baby. Peace.